go ahead. Okay, uh, I guess we are ready. Well, uh, uh, I'm Jong Lee, the CEO of the Telefarm Smart Farm Company. So we are dealing with the uh, agriculture. And uh, did you know that agriculture is actually data business? If you want to grow new plant or new crop, for example, you need a lot of data. Imagine you are going to the Mars and then doing the farm there. Maybe we can call you know Elon Musk here as a panel, but you know, and then you need a lot of data accumulated over a long, long period of time. All right? People deal with this problem by using a lot of sensors, especially around the plants. And what do you do? So so they measure temperature, humidity, and maybe solar intensity. But what we do is actually we develop this small needle as thin as a strain of a hair using semiconductor manufacturing technology. So let me give this to you. You can open it up and see how sharp it is. And at the tip of this needle, we have micro nano sensor that can detect the salinity and then amount of water that is being taken up by a plant. And we use such information for irrigation with extreme efficiency. And the beauty is that it is the data that we obtain throughout this whole process. We know how this plant is reacting to the environment exactly. And by using this data, actually we can make anybody in the world, anywhere in the world, in any kind of setup, he or she can start farming right away. And uh, you would have spent probably many, many uh, uh, months, many, many years to obtain such data. You can collect such kind of data in a matter of a week. So that's our salient feature. As 30 seconds. So our future is like this. We have innovation in technology, applied to agriculture, develop and acquire, collect a lot of data, and this data will trigger another dimension of core value creation. And this cycle will go on and on and on until we go all the way to the Mars. That's why I said that it will be better if you have Elon Musk here as a you know, uh, judging panel. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sarah? Hello, thank you so much. Um, could you please tell me how many parameters can your sensor read of the plant and also if it can be put in a perennial plant, so in a tree, for example, not only uh, tomatoes? 